One of the commonest questions every patient wants to know is, Doctor, you've done a great job with the IVF. You made a beautiful embryo for me. I'm really excited. And obviously, patients are thrilled when they see a top quality blastocyst. And so is the doctor because you've transferred the top quality blastocyst, which means the patient has a good chance of getting pregnant. But the problem is that a top quality blastocyst is not a baby. It is an embryo and whether that embryo will then implant is not something which either the doctor or the patient can possibly control because this is a biological process which we do not have the tools. We don't even have the tools to monitor the process after we've transferred the embryo inside the uterus. So how could we possibly have the tools in order to be able to increase the chances of implantation occurring? And in a sense, that's hardly surprising because you're putting a small bowl of live cells inside the uterus and you want to know what's going to happen to it without damaging it in any case. And that's the reason why we tell patients while making embryos is something we can control and transferring embryos is something we can control because this is a medical treatment which we can do in our laboratory and that is a function of our expertise and our experience and our skill. And this is why we document the quality of treatment by providing photographs of their embryos to all our patients. But once we put the embryo back in the uterus, then you're in mother nature's hands. This is a biological process which is notoriously inefficient. It's inefficient even for fertile couples in their bedroom. And that's the reason why every couple doesn't get pregnant every month they have sex. And it's equally inefficient even after we do IVF and even after we've top transferred a top quality blastocyst. Please have realistic expectations. That will help you increase your chances of having a baby.